Hey everyone, so this is Rajdeep. I'm from the Microsoft Graph Connectors team and I'm joined by Mahesh uh, from the team as well. So today we are going to talk a little bit about uh, Microsoft Graph Connectors and some latest updates. And we also would like to discuss with you and uh, gather some insights around Cloud SSA and Teams content in Microsoft Search. So for those of you who uh, may not be familiar with Microsoft Search and Graph Connectors, we are going to do a brief introduction and then we'll move on with the other agenda, right? So first of all, what is Microsoft Search? Um, it's an intelligent search for your workplace. Uh, it helps you bring knowledge and expertise that's spread across your workplace into one single place. And the data is secure and private and you get a consistent search experience across all Microsoft 365 surfaces. So whether you search on SharePoint, whether you search on Bing, whether you search on Windows search box, so everywhere you get a consistent search experience via Microsoft Search. Now, how does Graph Connectors play, play a role in Microsoft Search? Essentially, all your first party content, uh, like your PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Outlook, Teams data, everything is already there in Microsoft Graph. But let's say you have other content as well. That's where Microsoft Graph Connectors come in. Um, so essentially think of a modern organization. So in a modern organization, you would have tons and tons of data that's spread across some file storage, some sales and CRM data, HR data, or you may have some on-prem data sources. So what we see is that average large organizations have 15 to 20 plus systems and employees spend roughly 20% of their time searching and gathering this information. So uh, like discovering this information itself across so many systems is difficult, let alone analyzing and then using it. So this is where graph connectors come into the picture and using graph connectors, you can actually bring in the content of all these data sources that are spread across your organization into Microsoft Graph, where your first party content that we talked about, that that's the Microsoft content already is residing. And on top of this, you can build or leverage different experiences that are being built. So the primary one that we are talking about today is Microsoft Search. But apart from that, other experiences like Viva Topics, security and compliance, people experiences, recommendations, feeds, these are also going to come in the future. And some of these are already in preview. So if you would like to know more about this or talk about this with us, so feel free to reach out and we can see how we can help you out here. So moving on from graph connectors, so we want to share a few updates for those of you who have already used or are using graph connectors. So the Graph Connectors SDK is now generally available. So uh, the Graph Connectors SDK is essentially an SDK which helps you create custom connectors for which Microsoft or our partners do not have any connectors available. It helps you bring in content from your custom data sources easily using a framework that's provided by Microsoft. Apart from that, the out of the box connector that's developed by Microsoft, which is the ADO Wiki connector, is also now generally available for you to use. Connector results are now available on Bing All tab. So earlier connector results were only available in your search or the custom verticals that we that you are creating for each of your data sources. Now these connector results are also are, are available apart from the work tab in your um, All tab as well. So earlier we had some limitations around how much content you can bring in from each of your data sources so over there we have made really good progress and we have increased the each connection limit that you create from for your data sources to more than 5 million items in each connections and the number of connections that you can create at a tenant level has gone up from 10 to 30 so if any of you have high scale requirements of bringing in items, please reach out to us and we can work together and figure out how we can support you. Apart from that, connector content is now available in Teams Mobile for iOS and are coming on other uh, platforms as well very soon. We have also rolled out an improved connector analytics experience, which helps you analyze much more data, shows more graphs, more reports for you to easily download and analyze and uh, see what's going on in the search space in your organization. So these are some of the experiences that are generally available as of now. It's available for everyone and you can use. So interleaving experience, which essentially 
when you search it brings in the content and interleaves according to the relevance between your first party microsoft results and your third party connector results together in search in the all time that's called interleaving and it's currently in preview so if any of you is interested in having this experiences previewing it and trying it out please do reach out to us so i'll move on from the from this discussion to hand it off to mahesh for a, a brief discussion on cloud ssa and graph connectors mahesh would you like to take over okay hey, thanks rajdeep yeah so a quick recap uh, around cloud ssa so cloud ssa as you know is an existing mechanism to get third party data into sharepoint search uh, it will allow users across on prem search canvas and sharepoint online canvases to access the hybrid search index Uh, however it will need uh, some significant resources to keep it running and does not truly help uh, the customer to move away from a on prem sharepoint server farm so if you already have on prem uh, sharepoint server farm you still have to keep a lot of it still running in order to run a cloud ssa and also if uh, you have to ingest any new kind of content there is a significant amount of investment in building that connector using the bcs services so that's a quick recap around what cloud ssa is i wanted to take a stab on how graph connectors are a better option so graph connectors is a great way as rajiv already told to bring in on prem and third party content which is difficult in some ways with cloud ssa so now we have got great support for both cloud uh, and on prem content including on prem file shares and in terms of experiences uh, microsoft search is the key experience and uh, okay interleaving is in preview as well as uh, a lot of relevance tuning uh, uh, options are available with graph connectors and obviously uh, okay all uh, the graph connectors content get to participate in the new experiences like viva topics intelligent discovery like recommendations in office feed and e discovery and so that is going to go even better uh, okay okay in times to come where okay whereas for cloud ssa it will be difficult to give parity on these experiences following that with uh, on the content side uh, we have got great out of the box and partner built connector support for over 150 data sources now uh, and uh, as rajiv already mentioned we recently went uh, live with the graph connectors sdk which enables anyone to quickly develop new connectors uh, for a line of business data sources or any application you would like to uh, yeah sort of plug into search uh, it uses uh, okay less on prem resources and infra which makes it easier to manage and our graph connectors get uh, continuous upgrades and improvement which uh, make it a very sustainable choice for anyone to maintain over a longer period of time yeah so i think what the, the yes yeah, so the message that we want to get is that uh, graph connectors are a better emerging solution to bring in any non sharepoint non native content into search and other experiences yeah and i would uh, like to share quick survey link uh, uh, for uh, getting some feedback on how are you or your customers using okay cloud ssa in your landscape so please do uh, share your feedback uh, on that quick uh, change of gear so we wanted to briefly uh, get your views on how uh, teams content uh, can be brought into microsoft search uh, so graph connectors are now available in teams mobile in ios devices in custom verticals uh, more devices and better experience support is going to follow very soon uh, and at the same time there is a growing content base within teams apps where users are continuously creating and sharing more content so yeah, it's getting richer by the day so i would like to know your views and uh, your inputs if your organization or your customers uh, would like to search for this teams app content in microsoft search uh, if yes uh, please feel free to use the same survey form that I shared earlier and uh, we would like to know on how best these team apps can participate uh, okay what options you would like from them uh, to let them participate into search but okay and we would like to see how graph connectors can help in that journey i think that's it from our side thank you thank you
Thanks, everyone. Excellent. Thank you, Raiji, and thank you, team. Uh, really good input. Uh, let's fill in the form. Thank you.